I was just like, if you look at like, if you look back when I got called up to the Islanders, people probably thought like, what's this guy doing? Does he think he's a fucking skill player? Like I didn't have a fight for, I'm asking everybody. And so yeah. then I get, I get, I get interviewed. This is when it changed for me and I'm running around. I mean, I'm playing my game. I'm playing pretty good hockey for me. And so I get called into the office with, with Gordon, who's our head coach. And Gordon goes, it was like, it was almost like he was like, giving me a heads up like hey man like if you don't do something like you're gonna get sent down <laughs> and so he literally said he goes gills he's like you're playing great it's like i just wanted to bring it bring you in here he's like i coached i coached against you for forever in the minors he's like we want that trevor gillies he's like we need that he's like you got to do whatever you have to do to find a fight it hits and wow fights. And I was running around. What I was getting my hit. fucking departure from, or the game, <laughs> the yeah, game now versus yeah. That. So he he find a fight. He literally told me he's like, he, he goes, I know you're trying. Everyone can see you asking. Every we've heard you by the bench. He's like, he's like, just keep doing what you're doing. He's like, but have more kind of, to be honest, I'm don't swearing, no, swearing a ton. Yeah, don't take no for an answer. Have more fuck you to your game. So it's like a wake up call. And in my head, I'm like. You know, you, you know, I don't even know what anxiety is. I'm a happy dude. Like my buddies call me happy here. Like, yeah. so, but you get like that feeling, you know, you're like, fuck me. I better fucking do something. There's an urgency now. Yeah, exactly. So and luckily I have a buddy, Brant Myers, who was great to me when I was young. And, um, I guess, um, Brandon Prust and him are really, really tight and they have a phone call mm -hmm. and he, I guess he's asking about, you know, who the fuck's this, you know, he, he knew who I was from the minors. Mm -hmm. but uh he asked and and mizey said he's like oh gilly's gilly's he, he calls me gilsey gilly he's like lefty he's like Le he's definitely coming he's definitely coming to ask you um so this is a fuck another guy i want to give huge props to That's so so i go up it's right in front of the bench i go up beside him and i said uh hey prusty i was like i'd be honored to have a fight with you man i'm like no one will go me bro i'm like i need to get in a fight like bad like i need it Unfucking believable that he you're goes, having this conversation with Oh yeah, hundred percent. He goes, Fuck me. He goes, he goes, Mizey told me you were gonna be coming. He's like, All right, I'll go you. And I said, Thanks, bro. And uh he, he goes, I go, uh, let's square off. He goes, No, 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 because he's smaller, right? And he's tough as nails. And he goes, No, 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 let's just grab on and go, right? So that makes up for a bit of the reach. And he's probably got close arms to me. I don't have like I'm not that big. And um so then I, he tries, and then we backpedal up. If you watch the fight, I backpedal up and do my thing that I learned later on. Yeah. And he caught me. He caught me off the rip. He catches me with a good one, too. Early on, he gets a good one. He catches me with the first punch. And if I lose that fight, I'll never play another game in the NHL. That's two, oh. devastating, that's two no. devastating losses in a row at that level. Mm -hmm. It doesn't matter what you do in the fucking minors. The other like, losses, Booger. Right. And fucking 10 exactly. years ago. Yes. Well, it wasn't 10, but it was like four or five years, whatever. Okay. okay. Yeah. And so, um, but still you've been fucking, yeah. So I eat that one and then I end up coming back and I end up putting him down. I end up one getting, one. I getting an edge and get a win in the fight. And it's not like I killed him. He's tough as nails. It was a really yeah. good fight. And there was really yeah. good technical. You yeah. Get, like, he's really, you know I mean? he's get really hit. good. Yeah. He's really technical and good at really not uh, um, getting hit with those big ones, you know? I, re I love him. I wish I could have played like him. Fuck, he's a player. <laughs> he goes, it was one of those fights that's technical. Yeah, that's what he said. He goes, fuck me. still wide open. Oh, he's yeah. a good fighter, man. I loved him as a player, too. I'd take a fucking – and if I've, what I've heard about him, I'd take him on my fucking team any day. London, too. Ontario, boy. Yeah, so I love that. So I, I, I always was very vocal. Like when they said, you know, they had interviews about getting in your first one. And I said, I thanked him like publicly, mm -hmm. like two New York teams. It's the biggest rivalry almost in fucking hockey. Yeah. Um, and I like thanked him for giving me a shot. And I said, and then when they asked me, like, and I said, I've been asking everybody, no one will go me. So when I said that comment, the fucking floodgates like, open, buddy. Go, yeah. They're like, yeah. they're like, okay. So like, it's almost, but it, but it not calling them out. I wanted that. I yeah. wanted that. That's how you get made. That's how you make a name. If I only have one fight in 10 fucking games, and I don't have any fucking goals. I mean, what the fuck do you think's going to happen? Exactly. You're going to put in a European and I'm down. So I got to yeah. fucking establish my worth, you know, to the team.